Welcome back to another week of Sip the Tally Presents Ravens Roundup. It's me, Coach Evans, again, back ten, back uh, again with Week Ten. Uh, amazing, amazing game, you know, against the Bengals this week, uh, forty-nine to whatever they had. And um, I'm here sipping on this purple Kool Aid again, about to break down Lamar Jackson and his, his passing, his perfect passer rating for this game. We're gonna go through a couple plays and and kind of just see the progression from Lamar last year to Lamar this year. But I did want to read this thing off to you guys. I'm looking at the stat sheet. And I want to want you to know, if you didn't know, and some of you may know for watching the game already, that our drive summary from the first half. So we had so we had one, we had four, we had eight drives the entire game. First drive touchdown. Second drive touchdown. Third drive touchdown. End of the half. Come out of the halftime. Fifth drive touchdown. Sixth drive touchdown. So basically, if you don't count the time running out in the second half, your first five possessions were touchdowns. And you had two defensive touchdowns. That's amazing. That's amazing. But let's get into these passes and, and break down what, you know, what Lamar did and, you know, how he's progressed as a passer and whatnot. So first thing up is the opening play of the game. And so with his first play of the game, they, you know, got a little bunch set, and they are in a two-by-two two look. Well, not two-by-two, two, a two-shell look. And uh, we bunch. You got Hollywood Brown, and you got your two of your tight ends right here, your third tight end on the other side. This is Boyle. So um, basically, they're going to influence this safety, and then Hollywood's going to split them. Let's watch it from here and see. Then we'll talk about it afterwards. It's a lot of pure speed right there. A lot of pure speed. So what happened is, this safety is kind of influenced by, you know, I already had Boyle over here. I think this is Hurst coming. And he got wide and protected half. It looks like they're in cover two. And now he turns his back kind of to that, knowing that he has that guy over there. And now it just turns into, I'm going to split these guys and outrun them. That's simply what that is. He split. He, wide, he widened the um, corner a little. Check Hollywood wide in the corner, like running straight at him. Now he's going to run away from him. And with this guy, with his back turned, he's in no man's land. Like with, with the way this is looking right now, he should be opened up looking to see what's going on in his backside and maybe with a chance to break it up. But his technique is all wrong. And Hollywood took advantage of it. Just ran right past him. Because you, if you look at this, this corner is kind of letting him go there because that's where his help is. But now he's outrunning the help. He's outrunning the help. For a big 49-yard game to open the game up. Let's look at the pass pro from the back. That's that's how you want to start games. We've getting we've gotten better as pass protection. So Skrill kind of pulled a little bit, make it look like a run to help with that run fake. See what what run player they kind of faking. Mmm, just a little pull. Suck the linebackers up. You see 57 biting up. Uh, 58 is kind of biting up. So 57. It's just totally ate this run fake. 58 is kind of in no man's land. But the pass pro is good. Here we are good. Uh, Bozeman's good. Yonder's good. Sakura and um, who is this? Uh, Zeus is good. And I think this is Boyer blocking on the edge over here with Mark Ingram from the chip if need be. Pass pro is good. Uh, watch this dime go right over his head. Right over his head into the bucket. Bam. So you tell me that guy didn't work on all this stuff this offseason. While everybody was talking, this guy went to work. Move on to the next play. The next play is um, to, I think this is to Andrews. Play fa play action again, run a little sale route. Play action again, run a little sale route. Let me bag it up. Coming in motion, kind of faking that because we run power off that guy coming in motion like that. Kind of fake that. You got your sail route coming from right here, which is like a 10, anywhere from 10 to 15 yard out. And this guy's going to go deep to try to take the top off the coverage. So basically, he's going to try to get him out of there. 
and then we're going to run Andrews basically into the vacated area. This guy's going to be hailed by this play fake and him running in the flats. So you got two guys trying to protect him. He has protected the deep, half, uh, deep third of the field. Then we're just going to come underneath right there with a wide open guy. See it develop? He's just going to hit the hole shot. Let's see what the ball placement is on this when we look at the back view. Come in motion. Think it's run. Look how hard 58 bites on this run. Watch how hard this dude bite on the run. Just watch. Boom. Him and 57. 58, 57. Watch how hard they bite on this run. That's a um that's respect to our run game. That's what that is. Respect for our run game. Now you look at Andrew's open already. You know, he just said he gotta run his route, but he's open already. Balls out. Right there. Right there. Right where you want it. See if I can stop it. Right there. That's almost like catching off the judge machine. <laughs> right. Right there. You couldn't put it in a better spot. Great, great, great. It's, the progression is, is amazing from year one to year two. Now, this next play is um to Boyer for a bunch of yardage. Boys at the bottom of your screen. We got a little bunch set again. Hey, we got a under, little under and over going. Got a little under and over going. So let's let's bag it up. So this is, I think this is Andrews right here. Andrews going to go sit right over the ball. I call it a little sit route. Both of these guys are going to jump him. Then you got boy going to come right behind him into like this vacated area over here. See both of these guys jump, jump this, this, this is the bait. They jump this bait. I think they got a, a, a shark or, or or something, and they don't. They got a minnow. The shark's back here wide open. The shark's back here wide open, eating the back of the boat up. And you get a missed tackle. You get up the field. Missed tackling, y'all's out of the catch. Missed tackling, y'all's out of the catch. See it from the back view. Watch these two guys, you know, jump this hook. And think they got and take this little bait. We'll put me a receiver right there. All right, y'all can have it. You two guys can have this guy. Y'all can knock him out. Do what you want to do. All right, you thought he had it. Now we're gonna come right behind you into this vacated area. Oh, look at this ball placement. So most of the time, you tell quarterbacks to lead the receiver. So if he leads Boyer right here, this guy may pick this. If he leads Boyer, this guy may pick it. So he kind of throttled the ball down, kind of back shoulder them, so to speak, a little bit. Look at the ball placement. Now he can't pick it. And then when he don't make the tackle, look at that. Great ball placement. Great ball placement, Lamar. <laughs> the, ball, the ball playing lights out right now. And I don't, I don't mean to call him boy like in a negative way, but he playing lights out right now. The kid playing lights out. Next play is um, to Hurst. Starting to see Hurst getting, you know, get into the groove. Another play action. Another play action. Now, how you fit that in there? How did he fit that in there? She got, I think that's Snead coming in motion. Where's Hurst? Hurst on his backside right here. He is Hurst. Run a little over route. Going right behind the linebackers because of the play fake. And again, our play action game is deadly because of how much we run the ball. All these, and you've been saying it throughout this video, these linebackers are eating up on these run fakes. So now what's amazing to me is how he's going to fit this ball away from 22, but over 56 or 96, whatever number this is. Wow. I want to see the ball. I can't wait to see it from the back to see what the ball placement is. I love to see Hurst getting involved. Love seeing him get involved. See a bite up on the play fix. So that's 36. Not that's 36 right there. Old eyes, fellas. Old eyes. Rolling right. Rolling right. Okay, get a little side arm action. This side arm action. Okay, Lamar. Okay. Different arm angles. I see you. Not only you work on your regular stuff, you work on your Brent Favre stuff too. Your Mahomie stuff. Look at that. This side arm action. Leading perfectly. Hit it right in the hands. <laughs> this dude's dangerous, man. 
year, just completing year one for the most part. I don't even know how many starts he got left. Um, he made he right around 15, 16 starts. So this next one is um, to Boyer again, and it's crazy because Boyer was thought of as just a blocker. These last two, three games, boy, he, got, he went somewhere and got some of these. Went somewhere and got some of them. Oh, I love the route. Love the route. All right, let's, let's go back and see what Boyer does. Boyle is right here. He's the, the second tight end. The outside guy, I think, is maybe Hurst or somebody. Watch how Boyle expands the zone because he know where he's going. So he's going to run at this guy to widen him out. Then stab it right back in the middle of the field with a lot of grass. Watch the safety. Okay, the safety goes away from him a little bit. This is Boyle running right at this dude. Then going to bend it right there. And all he's doing is giving himself more room. More room away from this guy and from this guy. Because he got to respect both these guys coming. He got to respect Boyle and I think this hurts. Or Andrews, whoever it is. He got to respect both of them. And try to play the middle. And so he's going to run right at him, make him widen it, widen it, widen it. Then boy's going to stick it right back to the middle. Because like I said, he he has to respect both of them. So now the ball is in the air, he can kind of chase him down or try to. Ball hit him right in the bread basket. Right in the bread basket. Come on, let's see this ball placement. Widen him out. Oh, look. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. We got a look off. We got another element. We got a play action. Play action here. See if I can grab it. And look where Lamar eyes at. Other side of the field. We got a play action and a look off. Not come back. Throw a bullet. Man. Wasn't saying nothing about the guy last year. I don't know if very many running backs that could do that either. Not very many running backs can do that type of stuff. So this last play, we know I'm going to do five plays, but we, we got a little extra play here. We're going to go with play six. And this is uh, the touchdown to Andrews. That's Boykin in motion, I think. Then you bring Hurst in motion. And this Andrews is good at. He beats a lot of people in the slot with this one-on-one -on -one thing. A lot of, And then even if he don't beat them, Lamar gives him a chance by throwing it up. Gives him a chance by throwing it up. So you get a lot of motion, a lot of window dressing. You sent Boykin over here. Now you're sending Hurst back and trying to get that one-on-one. -on -one. Now we got a one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker. This linebacker is too slow. He's too slow. If it was a DB, the DB would be too small. So it's a mismatch. Andrews is a mismatch. He beat, he ran right past the linebacker. Ball's where it needs to be. Touchdown. Let me get a little salt bay right here. A little salt bay. Send him in motion. All this is window dressing, trying to make sure the coverage is what it is. Too easy. Too easy. Linebacker didn't stand a chance. Did not stand a chance. And I know I complain about these um us getting receivers more involved, but these three tight ends, man, these cats, they balling, man. It's, they balling. They balling. Uh, uh, I'm not going to hold you too much long, but this is um week 10, the first video. This is Lamar with his perfect passer rating. You kind of see why he got that. It's the second time this season he got that. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell so when um, I drop videos, you'll get them. You'll know about it when I go live. You'll know about it. Um, hit the like on the video and also comment if you want to talk about it. I got um, a Patreon page. I got some patron patrons now. Uh, they get videos over there that you guys won't see unless you subscribe to the Patreon. So, you know, if you got it in, you can. Go ahead and, you know, that, that link will be in the description also. And um, I'm out for part one. I've been asked, how can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to Patreon.com backslash Zip the Tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans. And again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to Patreon.com backslash Sip to